Hey, welcome everybody to the Bearded Guy podcast channel. Now today I'm doing yet another video messing around with my Nikon D750. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to start putting more video content on my channel again. Um, I do a lot of live streams and lately uh, YouTube's been kind of, I don't know if it's because there's so many people on, but there's a lot of lag and a lot of slow loading. And when you're doing live streams, I'm having a lot of issues with bandwidth and dropping out. So I thought, why not go back and explore video creating again and, and getting better at using the equipment that I have. Uh, I have a love-hate relationship with my Nikon D750. I won't tell a lie because it's a great camera. Oh my goodness, it's such a great camera. But to be honest with you, when it comes to video, because of the lack of real fast autofocus and some different things like that, um, you, you really can't use it for a lot of run and gun, fast going, uh, video shooting. So stationary like this is good. But one of the things with doing the stationary is I wanted to get better at actually uh, being able to make the video quality look as good as I can. Uh, and part of doing that is experimenting. Now, I've been experimenting as of late with 24 frames per second using a flat picture profile that's built into the Nikon D750. Now, so far, from what I've done with it, I really like the results. I've, I've taken the, the raw video, put it into DaVinci Resolve, and yes, I'm cheating. I use LUTs, and I've been experimenting with LUTs that are plugins for DaVinci just to see the different quality and the different, uh, the different feel and the different vibe I can get from actually doing videos this way. Now for my audio, I always go through my, my Rode NT1, going through my Zoom H4n, and this actually gives me really great quality audio to marry to the video once I put it in DaVinci. Now, of course, with this Rode, you really need a well-treated room if you're going to use it in the fashion that I'm using it. So you're still, you're gonna hear some echo because my room is treated to some degree, as you can see behind me, my, my DIY room treatment. Uh, it is treated to some degree and it does really help with the echo and the bounce of my vocals, uh, but it could be a little bit better. I could do a, some more panels and some different things to actually to actually minimize that even more and be able to use my Rode NT1 more than what I do. Now, basically, whenever I record podcasts, I go into my home studio, which is really my walk-in closet. <laughs> and the reason I do that is, is because the sound from the outside is actually blocked. And because of all the, all the clothing and different things we have in our walk-in closet, it actually deadens that air. It deadens that space and that sound so microphones like this, this large condenser microphone, actually they come to life and your voice comes to life whenever you're speaking in an environment like that. So that's where I mainly use this mic. For my standard videos, I use my XM8500s or my BA85A, for both, both of those are by Behringer. Everything goes through my, my 1204 USB mixing board. Whenever I do podcast and whenever I do like a talking head video at my little studio setup, this just over to my left. So again, I wanted to try some different things. I'm trying to do some different video content. I'm trying to get the video quality to where I feel that it's just how I want it. And hopefully you guys will join me for this journey as I experiment and get frustrated, experiment and get frustrated. And hopefully I get to that plateau. And that's what we're all trying to do. We experiment, we learn, we grow, we get better as we go on the journey. And I hope you join me for that. But again, today is just another quick little video, uh, probably three to five minutes long, if that. And I hope you enjoy the content here. And I would love to hear your comments about what you think about how the video looks. What could be done different? What could be done in a, in a different fashion? Now, not the setup, not the not the where I'm sitting talking, because again, that's subject to change at any given time. But more the, the color, the, the way it's filmed, what would you do differently? And I'd love to hear your comments on that. So for the Bearded Guy podcast channel, I do appreciate you coming by. And if you like the content that you see and you like the live streams that we post, please hit the subscribe uh, button there and hit the notifications bell. That way, when I do go live or I do post more content, you get the notification, you can come hang out with us for a while. And that's what it's about with me. It's about community. It's about you, the viewer, 
and just trying to give something back, trying to give people some levity, some information, some things that, you know, maybe you thought you didn't know or didn't need to know, but you found out you wanted to know. I don't, I don't know, something to that effect. Anyway, thank you for coming by. I do appreciate it. I hope you have a great day today, a better day tomorrow, and a wonderful week ahead of you. And until next time, 